Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Every time you kiss me, I'm still not certain that you love me. Every time That's you not Elvis. Me, not I know it sounds like it, but it's not. It's Lee Stafford. Welcome back, Seventeen Tell. You gotta, you, you gotta, you can't go through life without, without knowing these things, folks. You gotta, you gotta have this kind of information. I don't know how you, I don't know how you survive without having these kinds of, of details, uh, and which, which you can, you know, you can find that and more on our website, smallbusinessadvocate.com. We have lots of stuff there that will help you with your small business, and we've been updating that site since 1997. When we when we started broadcasting and we've been simulcasting on the internet since 1998, and we've been capturing all of our radio programs since 1999, and making them replaying them, making them available to you in all the handy formats that we have there. So check out all that out. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter. Check out our poll question right there on the homepage, smallbusinessadvocate.com, including the body of work that Lee Branham has deposited with us over the years, all the wisdom, all the insights, all the best practices and tips that he's given us on how to keep our people. And uh, that's the name of his company, company Keeping the People, dot, uh, I-N-C. And the, he's the author of a number of books, the co-author, along with Mark Hirschfeld, of the new book called Reengage, and Lee, one of the things that you have been doing recently is you actually have been allowing people who left their employment to to come up on to go on your website and and talk about that, haven't you? That's right. I I, I started doing this in 2003 when I uh, started going into business. I started the, the company Keeping the People uh, that year, and I. I put up a website, and I have a survey on there called the Decision to Leave Survey. And anybody who wants to can go to keepingthepeople.com and and go to click on uh, resources and go to surveys and take that survey regarding a previous job that they left. Uh, So it's my way of doing some ongoing research about why people leave. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I've been looking at it lately, and I hadn't realized how many people had taken that survey. The last time I checked it, I think I had about 4,000, I'm sorry, 400 people take it. Now it's up over 800. And I encourage all the listeners to to go and and take it to to help me with my research and and, and in this area. But I'm I'm finding some pretty interesting things. What are they telling you? Well, I think the process of how people decide to leave is pretty interesting. One of the questions I ask is how long until you actually left? And when you first started thinking about leaving, how long right. did it take? And fifty-one uh, percent took. Uh, I call uh, that I call that the get the heck out of Dodge period. Yeah, they're, they're thinking about <laughs> it for a pretty long time. It's, you know, it's like thirty-five percent are thinking about it for six months to a year yeah. before they. Okay, so that represents a window of opportunity when you, as their employer, can go in and say, "Hey, how's it going? Now, you know, I value you. I want to keep you. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are the how are things? How do you think things are going?" Sixty-six uh, percent of them who've responded say uh, something could have uh, changed that might have made me want to stay. Hmm. Um, so, so two third, two, one third said six six to twelve months. They they were mm-hmm. thinking about it. Right and 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 the the other two thirds had been thinking about it longer, or no, they, the other two thirds are thinking about it shorter. Shorter, okay, shorter, and then okay. and then two thirds of them said that they could have been talked out of it. That's right. And huh. I'll think about that, the, folks. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Now, now what that says to me is that says management. That doesn't say employee. That says management. Yeah, that's right, and. Uh, I also asked the question, to what degree did your decision to leave cause you to give less effort in the job? And 71% said that they gave less effort. They coasted. The they coasted. And, 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 and what happens, I've seen this happen before, uh, and, and I'm not, not going to say that I might have been guilty of this at one point in time in my career, uh, Lee, uh, although, you know, it's possible. But, but it's, uh, it, it, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy then, doesn't it? Because oh, what happens is people, you know, you start you think you think you're 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 disengaged, you're ready to leave, and and maybe you start the process, you start ghosting, as we used to call it in the army, you start ghosting on them, <laughs> and and uh, and then 
And then all of a sudden the boss looks around and says, well, he's not doing his job. You know, I might just fire him. And, and it, and it kind of it kind of spirals downward after that, doesn't it? Well, that's right. And uh, that's why checking in frequently with your employees and, and giving them feedback and uh, just doing what we call check-ins or re-engagement discussions, these are the kinds of things that, that, that keep you from be getting shocked and surprised when somebody comes in and says, I'm leaving. But here's what happens, though, Lee. You, you see an employee ghosting on you, and instead of thinking, okay, now wait a minute, maybe I've been abusing this person, maybe I haven't been treating them right, maybe we've been, you know, we maybe I shouldn't, I should have done a better job of managing, we immediately think it's because of them, not and no connection to our behavior. And that's a mistake, isn't it? Well, it usually is. Sometimes it is because of that. Uh, of you course, know? but but you need to yeah. find that out, don't yeah. you? Well, that's right. You need to you need to observe. And, and I think a lot of managers are so busy, they have their heads down, they're thinking about money and budgets and stuff like that, and they're not thinking about uh, how the employees are, are feeling about things. So what should I do? Should I go to them and say, John, you used to be a rock solid around here, and lately I haven't seen that kind of performance out of you. Can, talk to me. What's going on? Can you do that? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. But be specific, you know. I mean, when something happens, uh, that causes concern, you know, the, the feedback that you give to an employee should be based on some specific in- event or incident. Well, but if you don't know, could yeah. you be specific and say, look, maybe it's us. If we've done something to, 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 to demo- demotivate you? That's right. Yeah, I mean, that opens the employee. That, that way they away. don't feel like they've got yeah. to be defensive. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. Folks, and start and looking I, around. I bet if you look, if you've got any employees at all, I bet if you're looking around, you can find some opportunity to go up to that employee and say, "Hey, talk to me. What's going on? If, if we if we been if we let you down, uh, you know, let's 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 talk about this." Quick break. Lee Branham's our guest. His book is called Reengage. Tintel, stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited. All